Hi there, so my name is Dan Hill, first uh, of all. I thought I would create a YouTube channel centered around a journey that I'm taking to, you know, brutalize myself, basically. <laughs> and it's gonna be running the Nullarbor Highway in Australia, which is 1,200 kilometers. It's ideal when the sun's out and the weather's perfect for the run, but for me, it's not gonna matter whether it's raining, hailing, shining. I still gotta do it anyway, because that Nullarbor is not getting any shorter. <laughs> I really love it when it gets to the weekend because uh, unlike through the week where I'm doing really long hours at work, I get to focus on you know running about 15, 20 kilometers, just pushing the limit a lot more and being able to focus more on distance, technique, recovery. Okay, that's a lie. Recovery is not a factor yet. <laughs> I'm really bad with that. The idea came from you know the, all the COVID-19 lockdowns in about June 2020 and I thought to myself how can I because like, I was falling into a real rut in life and I thought how can I you know both push myself and my limitations like well beyond anything you know I'm capable of right now and uh, give me something to, you know to live for really like it, it was it was things were getting pretty dark. Speaking of dark, <laughs> time for a run. So no matter how, how many hours I do at work, what time I get home, <laughs> I have to get out and at least do the Albert Park run, which is around seven, eight kilometers. Today was no exception. <sighs> Not letting darkness get in the way. <laughs> I haven't been in St Kilda that long, but my new sort of local regular run is Albert Park. And depending on what hour you go there, it's a really different vibe. And I love how it is at night. My girlfriend Chels came with me on this run and uh, she used to join me all the time but once she realised how uh, crazy I had to train she uh, pulled back a fair bit. <laughs> and she's a strange one to run with because you know one minute she's running right next to me then she's literally like 100, 200 metres behind me and just when I think she's been stabbed or something she's disappeared she materialises next to me again. I dedicated the cause to uh, depression and anxiety, which was like really one of those things becoming a serious problem at this lockdown COVID time. So I wanted to make this YouTube channel to set my journey. So my whole life I've mostly uh, focused on Australian rules football and you know building muscle at the gym, being more of a sprinter than an endurance runner and uh, as you can see by my body, I don't have that thin frame, so naturally it's it's going to be pretty heavy to carry across the Nullarbor. A bit of background, <laughs> I've never run a marathon before. Yeah, I might be making this maybe six months into my training. I should have done it straight away, but better late than never. Uh, I thought I would, uh, you know, just document all the things that are happening, the mistakes I make, the struggles I make, but also the victories that I have along the way. I have to say, running's become sort of therapeutic for me after a hard day at work or, you know, it's just a great way to decompress. And going to these awesome places, this one in particular in St Kilda, we get some incredible sunsets and just the mixture of the beautiful environment as well as the act of running and how it makes me feel, it's just a perfect combo. It's really good sort of heading towards somewhere in particular like you know maybe it's the beach the ocean or running up to the top of a hill and just that feeling of getting to the end and appreciating that last moment you know in this case the the gorgeous sunset overlooking the ocean and uh you know it, it's just makes it all worthwhile well until you realize you have to run back <laughs> 
Uh, if it's just for my own documentation, that's also fine. You know, I don't mind. I just thought that, uh, you know, it'll be good to watch this back once I've finished and see where I've come from. So now I'm just catching up with a mate. There's another one coming. <laughs> I can't believe I found some running partners. Stupid enough to uh, join me on punishing myself. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, man. Nah, this awesome. one, we're going along the beach. Couldn't ask for a better day, really, let's be honest. <laughs> I'm surprised to see myself stretching, to be honest. Must be the good influence of Bill because stretching is my weakest consistency. Show us your banana, innit? Yeah. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> Me, I had a dirty bacon and egg brioche. So, um, yeah, obviously I still gotta get the hang of this running thing and the dieting thing. A double stretch. <laughs> I'm painting a picture of exactly what I'm not right now. <laughs> Got the whole crew here now. This is Ads. My running brother from another mother. Hey. <laughs> Let's do this for you. I never thought it would be. Running is a fantastic social activity with friends. <laughs> and I mean, the conversation's booming for the first half hour or so. As you start to get more fatigued, it's kind of just nice being in the company of others going through the same pain. And uh, it's kind of what was happening here. So, <laughs> an awesome day. Final push at the end there. The thing about guys is we're super competitive. So I smoked them. <laughs> Top stuff, boys. That's it, you are right? Food of champions. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, so well earned. <laughs> Stretching hasn't been one of my strong points, so I've uh, managed to, you know, push myself to to stretch a little after this latest one. So I'm suffering from uh, stupidity, really, from Saturday's run. Have a look at that sunburn. all around the neck. Anyone thinking of running and thinking they're above sunscreen, like me, you're an idiot. No matter how you feel, before you run 18 kilometers, afterwards, there's like this massive sense of accomplishment and uh, you know, I haven't eaten much today, but now after running this, <laughs> I won't lie, I'm starving. I could eat the greasiest food imaginable, you know, and not feel guilty. I could eat chocolate, but uh, I'm not, I believe. Salmon risotto, um, my girlfriend Chelsea's preparing for me. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna just literally inhale it, I'm starving. Just got back from work and I've seen this. Interesting. Let's see what it's all about. <laughs> For my upcoming marathon in Melbourne, the Nike Marathon, my first ever <laughs> Nike Marathon. Just to clarify that, I actually mean my first ever marathon in general. It's gonna be a big step in the stage to completing this Nullivore. Um, and uh, you know, if I'm gonna die, this will be a pretty good opportunity to kill me. <laughs> Dan Hill. 
excited, scared, apprehensive, you name it. The day's uh, getting closer, two weeks now. Ah, oh, jogging again with the man, the myth, the legend, the great man, Adzi. <laughs> Get excited, Adzi. <laughs> It's funny how it works when you start setting yourself a crazy high goal. You'll start attracting those friends that have either been in your life a long time, that were dormant for a while, or you'll attract new people that have the same goals and you know want to overcome massive challenges. And uh, this is massively the case with my friend Adam here. He came with me on a run. All of a sudden he decided that he wanted to run a marathon for himself. So it's sort of just proof that the people you hang around sort of dictate the kind of goals you create for yourself and for others. Well, what a beast of a trail. Yes. Good choice, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those mountains. Oh. <laughs> Far out. Another day, another <laughs> epic run. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That was a ripper. Days. <laughs> beast mode. Oh, I love it. Love you. <laughs> I must admit, I kept a pretty active lifestyle before doing the running, but, you know, I, I definitely made a note to keep making sure I get outside, do other things, have other passions, <laughs> have friends, and, uh, you know, I, I really do love getting out in nature and taking hikes, especially with the group of people I go with. I know every beer I have is going to make me heavier for the Nullarbor run, but uh, look, you only live once, <laughs> I'll just regret it later. So we've just started our first half marathon <laughs> together <laughs> in training for my marathon next week. At my Woo! Marathon. <laughs> Stay hard! <laughs> Even though I have a smile on my face here, <laughs> seriously inside, I'm terrified for this marathon. I've not even run nearly as close to a marathon before in my life, and I'm just kind of diving in. I will give us some credit though. <laughs> Half marathon's pretty good still. And uh, one thing I love about running with ads is we catch up out in his area, which is around Healesville, Churnside Park. So it's always just a gorgeous run. Oh. 21 kilometers, my brother. Oh. How do you feel? Cactus. <laughs> Good work, though. Yeah. Oh my god, that hurts. <laughs> Brutal. You nailed it, man. With my main man Bill, just having a quick jog. God, it's good to have running partners, man. I can't tell you how much. So close as well. oh, so just around the corner. You yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> Let's get to it then, huh? Let's go. Let's go. Where are we going, actually? <laughs> we don't even know where we're going. No, I've got to, we'll go the same way we were last time. Yeah, done, and done. We'll go towards the river. Love it. I owe a lot to Bill, actually. He's supported me in my running endeavors since the very start and uh, he's been pushing himself as well. In fact, he's the one that introduced me to the upcoming Nike Marathon. And uh, I couldn't be more grateful. I'm sure it's gonna be pretty life-changing. He's doing a half marathon. So, you know, we're gonna be suffering together in spirit on the same day. <laughs> oh, that is a rock solid finish and a rock solid view. Yeah. Epic 10K run. After a half of yesterday, touch footy today. Touch footy. Touch. No, <laughs> no excuses, huh? No, get it done. Woo! Cheers, brother. <laughs> right. oh, so after a gigantic week, 16 hour days, uh, it's been insane. Headed back to do the Albert Park run still because 
No, I'm not taking any excuses. This weekend's the big marathon. I'm gonna take it a bit easy, but I still have to keep the body moving and, uh, well, prepare myself. It's gonna be brutal, but the show must go on.